Godzilla Unleashed. Hello, welcome back. So, in the last part, I got pretty pissed off. And so here we are back again, we're on Monster Island. I also left and got the start of my computer for one. I also um, turned down the game's sound effects a bit. So hopefully, like the monsters are not super loud, but I don't think that affects monster sound. Ah, Chris Light is gonna take you down. No, oh, come back. You will fight each other. Dance, monkey, dance. Excuse me, I gotta regenerate my power now. I'm just gonna walk this way. Yes, please fight. Man, you got it out for me, don't you, giant bug monster thing? Ow, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. Right. Please fight. I'm gonna go and grab this crystal over here. Sorry, I'm player one and the camera chooses me over you. See? He's bad for the enemy doing that. Oh, they're way over there. <laughs> We are Cerberus. Oh well, I got them both, so it's all right. It's okay. Come here, giant bug. Yeah. Roar in your face and stop on your nose. Yeah. Regenerate here. Oh wait, is it? That's charge. I forgot how. Don't bleh. run around circles. What an intense fight! If you're a human and saw this, what'd you think? <laughs> were they fighting or were they playing? Thanks for giving me the help. Nope, I want you, bug. Bug is almost dead. Excuse me, this fight's not as annoying as fighting mechs. Or Angiris. Especially when you're actually fighting each other and not just focusing on me. I appreciate that. Who you going for? I'm right here, I'll bet. I am King Ghidorah. Godzilla loves ripping off my head. Okay, human gotta go. Meow. And you go to the one v one me, bro. I already said that, so old joke and stupid one at that. Come on, pop your little ears up. Do it. You help Godzilla fight Mega Godzilla, I'm pretty sure. It's been so long since I actually watched any of those. 
Mainly because we only have them on VH you know, most of them on VHS. Young young people won't know what the hell that is. Boom! You're getting aggressive. Come here, monkey dogs. Tail whip! Oh, nice. Tail whip! Tail whipped! Tail whipped! Okay, no. Get down on the ground, scream in his face, and stomp on his nuts. I only had to kill you. I'll take it. <laughs> Hooray, now we're going to Seattle. Son of volcanic activity has engulfed the city and rivers of magma. Monsters have been detected in this sector, most likely attracted by the power from crystal radiation. A new black crystal type is driven, driving our instruments wild, making it difficult to determine the exact situation. Move away from the capture card's wire. Ladies and gentlemen, we are currently facing the greatest threat the world has ever seen. Our planet is being torn apart by the giant space crystals and the extreme meteorological transformations that have accompanied them. We have already confirmed that San Francisco is in ruins, destroyed by massive earthquakes. Sydney has become a frozen wasteland. Volcanoes have erupted in the middle of Seattle. And that's not the worst of it. Dr. Shirigami, this is a closed session. What is the meaning of this intrusion? Dr. Shirigami? He's the world's leading expert on giant monsters. If the Council will allow me, I've just made a startling discovery that has a bearing on these proceedings. Very well, Doctor. Proceed. And this had better be important. As you already know, giant crystals have manifested in all of Earth's major cities, causing destruction on an unprecedented scale. However, I've recently discovered the emergence of a new, more powerful type of crystal, distinguishable by a bright, colorful aura of energy surging from its core. Our initial analysis has determined that these crystals did not originate from our galaxy. And more importantly, the radiation they emit is triggering some unusual reactions from the monsters. It seems to be drawing them in, and in some cases, the monsters are actually attacking these crystals. Attacking them? If that is the case, Doctor, then I fail to see the cause for alarm. Yes. Earth's guardian monsters must know that the crystals are harming the planet. The Earth is their home, and they will protect it by destroying them. Don't be absurd. These are mindless beasts we're talking about. The simple explanation is that they are hungry for the power that these crystals generate. You may both be correct. Although their motivations are unclear, one thing is for certain. Some of the monsters actually appear to be growing stronger and more powerful than ever from their interactions with these special crystals. My theory is that these monsters are actually absorbing the radiation surges and that these surges are altering their DNA somehow. These mutations are giving rise to emergent abilities we've never seen before. Doctor, what's the bottom line? What kind of threat are we facing here? Our simulations suggest that monsters, as they absorb this power surge radiation, could become unstable. A point of critical mass, if you will. The consequences of which could be catastrophic. There is no force on Earth that could withstand the potential destructive power of one of these titans once it reaches critical mass. Sir, that won't happen. I know Earth's monsters will work together to destroy these things. I've heard enough. Our course of action is clear. We cannot allow the monsters to become even more powerful. For the sake of humanity, 
They must be destroyed at all costs. No! You only want revenge for your failed battles against Godzilla. When will you learn? The monsters are not our enemies. If we give them time, they will destroy the crystals. Miku, please. The Admiral's right, I'm afraid. We can't just stand by and let the monsters run amok. We have to do our job. Thank you, Commander. And I'd also like to thank you to keep your protege on her leash. Gentlemen, the Etragon is being readied for departure as we speak. In the meantime, Shirigami, I believe, is continuing his research to try and unlock the secrets of these alien crystals. I don't know what he's doing, but it won't be enough if our monsters don't fight this menace together. Those subtitles are way behind. King Ghidorah. Oh joy, I powered up and gear. Oh look who's back. King Caesar. Oh, this is a lava world too. Sweet. So they can jump in the fire and get hurt. You know, what exactly is my objective? Destroy the power surge crystals or defeat Angers? I'm going with destroy. Yeah, and I can fly over the lava. Suck it! Wing monsters for the wing! Am I even hitting this? Too high. He's gone critical! And up here... Excuse me, you're two of us fighting each other? Thank you. Oh no, you lost your power and I lost a lot of um Sweet. That was easy. I went the boring route instead of the fun route. We went to London last. Well, what's going on in London? Gozen's Grudge back. We got over here in Tokyo. Scratching the edge. With our military in order to combat the rising mutant threat. Evacuation in Tokyo, Tokyo is nearly complete, and we are doing everything we can to minimize potential casualties and destroy the environment. Let's go to Tokyo! And drift. Ho oh, ho! Lame! Godzilla! King Ghidorah! Where is this? Oh, sweet, I got guy again support. Ooh, fine destroyer. And you again. Of course, I never beat you last time. Rock and roll! Try not to kill my partner. Yoink! Yes. Humans. Oh, wait. Let go. Let go. Ow. Oh. Shoot him in the back.
What is going on? We're all just clustered in the center. Oh. We're supposed to be allies, Gigan. Gigan! Seriously, dude. Fine, I'll take the bug. Gee. I'll take probably consider a future Muta. Why you got fighting? I'm gonna take down the game. <laughs> Suck it, GDF. That's power to the mute. Full. Stupid bug. Ow. Got him. Thanks. Now I got him. Ow. Got this one. Uppercut it. No, not guy again. Careful thing. I'll take you and scr I missed everything. You wanna go, bro? I did it again! Actually, I didn't. See that was 1v1. I don't know why I'm saying that all of a sudden, though. I mean, it's been a couple weeks and I watched South Park. And when I say you wanna go, bro, I'm thinking of really Cartman. And mainly, I am the dog, the big bag dog. Yeah. Get down. I must be thinking of melee. Where I can do multiple throws against them. Oh, he just got up a cutty. Pingadora, or Pingadora. Oh, I did pick up there. Excuse me. Got, or, wow, I'm getting my monster screwed up here. Pingadora still grabs health. I search for health anyway. This bug has it out for me. Let me find some health. Yes, follow me. I don't think there's health. Hey, guy again did it first. <laughs> That's Q. San Francisco, what's going on here? Invasion. Fears of an alien reinvasion have been confirmed. The Vortex has launched a full scale assault on the city, vanguarded by King Ghidorah. Woo! In a most aggressive move, the Vortex mothership has entered our atmosphere to provide backup support for the invasion forces. <coughs> Bringing on the Vortex mothership is our highest part. You're talking to me like I'm King Ghidorah. My queen, all repairs are complete. We are now ready to proceed. Activate the cloaking shield and set a course for Earth. Fellow Vortok, the time has come. Release our monsters. Prepare to take off! When I said you're treating me like King Adora, I meant you're treating me like I'm not King Adora. <laughs> Who are we fighting? I don't know his name, but he's another fan pick character. Support the Vortac invasion, destroy the power search crystals, or feed Obsidious. That's his name. Uh, I might as well stop it. Thank you for watching. Check back later for the next video. Bye!